2024, which I'm predicting is going to be an amazing explosive year for me and for us as content creators. There's going to be nothing like this time of life right now. What time of life am I talking about? Well, there's going to be nothing like the early days of your channel, the days where you're constantly going on the YouTube studio app and refreshing and like seeing, did I get a new subscriber? Did I get another view on my video? There's going to be nothing like this time of life where each number matters so much and you're just like, please, I want to grow. What can I do to grow? God, help me grow. Like you're just wanting it so bad for yourself and that's been the season or phase that I've been in um and I, I want to like leave that and just really enjoy the process of becoming the content creator that I envision myself to be. Oh my gosh, I'm just filled with excitement about how great 2024 is going to be for me as a content creator. Uh, a little a bit about myself. I am a stay-at-home mom. Most of my hours during the day go, go towards that. I don't have ample free time to work on my channel, which I'm assuming many of us that's the case for. We have jobs or, excuse me, we have jobs or other full-time responsibilities that take away the energy and devotion we can have towards building our channels, you know? And I just think that we are going to really have to get crafty in 2024 to figure out how can we get it all done. Something, a resource that I want to share with you is, is this book right here. This is Ali Abdal's Feel Good Productivity book. It just arrived in the mail yesterday and I believe this is going to be one of the top things that will help me figure out how to build my channel, manage building my channel, manage being a mom and a wife and everything that I have going on. So whatever you have going on in conjunction with trying to build a channel, obviously some level of productivity is going to be involved in that and we're going to have to be really dedicated and committed in 2024 to really launch and take off and do everything that we want to do on YouTube. So I highly suggest getting a copy of this book. You can get it on Amazon. There's so many places wherever they sell books. You're not going to have a hard time getting it and um I'm willing to get it from one of you guys out there. Just comment something below on this video if you're watching, and I will choose a random person to get that book for. Um, what else? Other things that I'm going to be leaning on to help me reach my content creation goals in 2024 outside of God, because I can't, I don't know about you, but I can't do nothing without God. Other things that I'm going to be leaning on are a lot of self-reflection, taking time to figure out where I've come from, my journey, like really leaning into how I've evolved to where I am today. I think there's going to be so many gems that I can find to share with my community. Um, I feel like a lot of times when you're starting on YouTube, it's like a lot of question marks, a lot of confusion because you're thinking, how can I position myself as an expert and, and share information and share knowledge when I have nothing, quote unquote, nothing to show for it? Meaning I have don't have that many subscribers. Nobody's really watching my videos. Like I don't have a huge online presence yet. How is anyone going to want to take information in from me? Well, I think if you lean in on where you've come from, you'll find that you have something to speak, to teach, and you can truly speak from your own experience. And that is one of the most powerful places to pull authority on something. It's your life. You did it. You went through it. No one can tell you that you didn't. And if we can all master storytelling, 
Oh man, that's definitely going to be something else that I got to lean into in 2024, storytelling. If we can master storytelling, we can really see ourselves grow by telling others or teaching others from the experiences that we have all walked through. We all have our own path and our own journey. Someone else is at point at step one and you're at step 30. What can you teach them up until that point so let's keep that in mind guys um what else as much as this year will be about building my youtube channel i really think a lot of this it's going to be a personal development year as well it's really starting to click eight weeks into being consistent on youtube that you really change as a person when you're building your youtube channel the personal development that happens as a result of turning click press record think media just just press record what changes happen to yourself when you do this over and over and over again i can't put it into words yet but it is really profound and it's like wow you really start to see yourself in a different light and you're going to be able to extract confidence like people are nobody's going to be able to tell you nothing like when you can really you really start to get comfortable in front of this camera and the more reps the better my thing is quantity over quality right now and it's not necessarily my thing i am following the teachings of mr roberto blake and he suggests Get out your first 100 videos as soon as you can. Don't don't stress the big stuff. Let's approach our content with keeping the word simple in mind. Simple. How can we just focus on creating and getting comfortable with creating content in this way? So I do want to read more books. And it's funny how... I'm, I'm going to have to go offline to grow online. I, I, that, that's a word. D does anybody hear me? I'm going to have to go offline to grow online. I'm going to have to get into some books and really figure out more about who I am in order to translate that on camera. Hold on. I have another book that I want to suggest to you. 100 Ways That Will Change the Way what, did I read that right? 100, 101 essays that will change the way you think. Erin May Henry is a creator on here who made this video. I'll pop it up on the screen. She made this video and I that's where I got this book recommendation from. Have I, have I finished it? Have I even gotten a quarter way through the book? No. And that's because I have not built up the 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 time and whatever whatever I need to do to really open up a book and read it. Didn't get to do that um, often this year. But in 2024, reading, getting into things outside of the internet is really going to help me grow on the internet. And I'm looking forward to that. So I think that's it for for this video, guys. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video or nothing, but content creators the new era we are part of the new era of content creators on here and i'm just so already proud of us and excited for us we are part of the new era of people that are able to create businesses from through our youtube channels why because we treat youtube like a business a video on that is coming soon a video on that is coming soon, guys. So to you who's still watching at this point, number one, thank you. And you can do it. You can do it. I want you to get pumped up and revved up because 2024 is going to be the year. Believe it. It starts with the mind. Believe it. Believe it. I'm telling you, you are going to blossom, expand, just blow up that's what we say in these days right in the way that you're supposed to as a content creator if 
you stick with it if you remain committed to the process. Let's just stay committed to the process of growing our YouTube channels, our content creation careers. Let's do this, guys. I believe in us. That's all from me. My name is Nala. Thank you, thank you, as always, for being here. And I will see you all in 2024. Today is December 31st, 2023. In the new year, I'm honestly just aiming to see how good it can get. I want to know the real potential of my life. I want to feel it on my skin. I want to leave no drops of this life unconsumed. I want to know the answer to the question, what if it all goes well?